In this chapter, we will be looking at units of measurement. In this lesson, we're going to look at reference and metric conversion. Okay. Hi, everybody. So, in this lesson, okay, the first lesson of this, this unit here, we're going to take a look at reference and metric conversions. Okay. So, we're focused on measurement here. Um, and we're going to start with this idea of a referent. Um, so, what a referent is, okay, is it's just like it says here, it's something familiar that are used to approximate a measurement. Okay. So, we have got, uh, for example, here, um, we've got a system of measurement that we use. Okay. And we're, we're quite comfortable with it. However, we don't always carry, for example, a, a ruler with us to make measurements. We don't always have the appropriate tool to make a, a more precise, uh, accurate measurement. So we use reference, just uh, something to give us a sense of what a measurement might be. So for example, a centimeter is roughly the width of a pinky finger. Okay, well, not exactly, and we know that that's going to change from person to person. But on the whole, it gives you a sense of, of how big a centimeter is. 10 centimeters, about the width of your hand, okay, going across there. Uh, an inch is the knuckle, the length from the, your, your knuckle to the tip of your thumb. Again, that's going to vary from person to person, but it gives you an idea. Uh, one foot is, well, the average length of a foot, okay? And again, that's not true. There are people with, with much smaller feet than that, okay? Uh, or and some have, have much bigger feet, but you know, average. A yard is about the the width of a doorway. Uh, a meter is roughly the distance from the floor to the doorknob. Okay, one kilometer is about ten football field lengths, and one mile is about eighteen football field lengths. So, these are just things that we kind of use to give ourselves uh, a, a mental image as to how how long something is. How you know, how he there's other reference there, for example, how heavy something is or how, how much volume something has. We just use these things that are familiar with us to communicate and to estimate. Now, the metric system or SI system, System International, uh, is a base 10 system. Okay, it's used in Canada, here in Canada. It's used in, in places all over the world, okay? Um, centimeter, meter, gram, kilogram, liter, milliliter, okay? These are our kind of our basic units here. The imperial system, <coughs> sorry, is based on reference and is used on the in the U.S. and a couple other countries in the in the world here. Okay, and you know their their units of measurement here, in, or sorry, some common measurements will be the inch, the foot, ounce and a pound, quart and a gallon. Okay, these are some of the things that that they would use. Okay, and both systems work really well. Okay, both systems work really well. I want to make sure that that's clear here. Um, it can sometimes be a little bit uh, confusing to convert between them, okay? But once you get used to working within a system here, it, it gets quite comfortable, okay? Uh, so just for example, I, we are, in Canada, we are a metric uh, country. However, there's lots of times when I will use imperial measurements because I'm, I'm comfortable with those and uh, a lot of the people that I know are also quite comfortable with those. So it's just convenient to communicate in that way. Now, for right now, we're going to focus on metric to metric conversions, okay? And so we're going to use the table here or, or the formula sheet. And the way we do this here to make a conversion, okay, we start with a unit. And every time you move um, from, from one unit to another, okay, it's going to be either a, a multiple of 10 or you're going to divide by 10. Okay, in terms of the size here. As you go from left to right, the units get smaller, okay? The base unit here is going to be the meter for length. A decameter is 10 meters. A hectometer is 100 meters. A, kilo, a kilometer is 1,000 meters here. The, the prefixes here basically communicate how many meters are in that measurement. Just like a decimeter is a tenth of a meter, a centimeter is a hundredth of a meter, and a millimeter is a millionth, sorry, a millionth, uh, a thousandth of a meter. Sorry about that. Now, then we take a look at mass. We've got the gram as the base unit. A decagram is 10 grams. A hectogram is 100 grams. A kilogram is 1,000 grams. A decigram is a tenth of a gram. Centigram is a hundredth of a gram. Milligram is a thousandth of a gram. And we do the exact same thing with our base unit for volume, liters. Decaliter, hectoliter, kiloliter. 
deciliter, centiliter, milliliter. Okay, so each jump on the number line represents a, a power of 10. So, and what's, what's convenient about this system right here is that often that just means moving the decimal point. Okay, so for every, every jump, I'm going to move the decimal point one place. Now, we're going to talk about that uh, in just a second, how that works. So here, with the metric unit conversions, uh, what I like about this particular chart here is the ones in the boxes uh, with the boxes are, are the most common measurements you'll see. Now, in a course where we're talking about measurement, we're, sorry, we're going to use a lot of them. Okay, we're going to use the hectometer and the decameter and, and so on. We're going to use these, these other ones, the decimeter. But the most commonly used ones are the kilometer, meter, centimeter, and millimeter. When it comes to measuring mass, it's the kilogram, the gram, and the milligram. Okay, I mean, when you, when you weigh people, kilograms. When you weigh, like, you're going to go and, and maybe buy something at the store, bulk, you might buy it in, in terms of grams. Uh, medicine, you're going to see on, on your medicine, uh, it's, it's measured in milligrams. And then when it comes to volume, we're looking at typically the liter and the milliliter, the most commonly one, uh, used, used units. Now, when you convert from a large unit, okay, a large unit to a small unit. Now, you, you got to understand when I say converting from a large unit to a small unit, I don't mean it, the object that I'm measuring hasn't changed. I'm just changing the units that I'm measuring it with. So if I'm going to use a large unit and I'm going to convert that to a small unit, then the, the number, the measurement gets bigger. So when converting from larger unit to smaller units, you multiply, okay? The, the number or the measurement, okay, the measurement number gets larger. However, whoops, wrong way. However, if you convert from small to large unit, we divide. And in this case, the measurement number gets smaller. And that actually makes that actually makes perfect sense when you think about it. Okay, if I've got, if I've got for example, we'll go up here, uh, something that's 50 milli millimeters long, well, because the centimeter is larger, I need less of them to cover that same distance. Okay, if I'm going to convert from kilometers to, let's say, meters, okay, well, a kilometer is a really big unit. Okay, each one of those kilometers contains a thousand meters. So if I convert from kilometers to meters, the number of meters that I'm going to need to cover the same distance is going to be a, a much larger number. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. So on the metric scale, when you jump, okay, from, from you, basically when you jump from prefix to prefix is another way of thinking about it, you're either going to multiply or divide by, by 10 for each jump. When the unit gets smaller, that number gets larger, so you're multiplying by 10 with every step. If you're going from a small unit to a large unit, okay, then the number gets smaller. You're going to divide by 10 for each step along the way. Let's take a look at some questions. Okay, so here we go. We're going to convert from uh, 1 meter to centimeters. Okay, one meter to centimeters here. So now, just read this here. On the number line, we would need to move two jumps to the right. Okay, so we're going to go from this unit to the centimeter. So we're going to move two jumps. We've got to move through the decimeter to the centimeter. And what that means, okay, is that there's this either this multiple by 100 or we're going to divide by 100. We're going to do 10 for each jump here. Now, because we're going from a larger unit to a smaller unit, our number has to get bigger, so we're going to end up multiplying by that 100. So it's basically going to be this 1.0 meters, and we're going to multiply by 100. And so what that does is that moves the decimal, just like it shows it right here. It moves the decimal from here two units, or two spaces to the right, so we get 100 centimeters. Or just like they got it here. One meter is equal to 100 centimeters. Now, let's try going from 42 
grams to kilograms. Now, if we're going to go from grams to kilograms, that's one, two, three steps that I got to take. Okay, starting at the gram, one, two, three. There's three prefixes I got to move through to get to kilograms here, which means I'm either going to multiply by a thousand or divide by a thousand. Now, because I'm going from a small unit to a large unit, the number must get smaller. So that means I'm going to divide by that thousand. So here, the decimal place here at, at 42 grams, okay, is, is right after the two. So when I divide by a thousand, that's the same as moving the decimal three units because of the three zeros here, three units to the left. And when I do, that ends up right there. And this is, this is the number of kilograms I've got. So 42 grams is equivalent to 0 0.042 kilograms. 642.84 liters to milliliters. Well, let's take a quick look here. Liter to milliliter. That's one, two, three steps okay, along this line here. So it's going to be either a multiple by 1,000 or it's going to divide by 1,000. Now, in this case here, because I'm going from a, a larger unit to a smaller unit, the number must get bigger. So we're going to be multiplying by that 1,000. So 642.84 liters, we're going to multiply by 1,000 here. And what that means is the decimal is going to now going to move to the right. In the previous question, when I divided, it moved to the left. Okay. Now when I'm multiplying, okay, and actually we might even think, have thought of it like this. We might have put this up here, 42.0 divided by 1,000. Okay, here it's going to be uh, 642.84 multiplied by 1,000. So the number's going to get bigger. It'll move 1, 2, and then I've got to put one more space there. So 642.840 milliliters. Got to move that decimal three places to the right. Okay, so basically 642,840 milliliters. Now, I hope you understand like why we've got these these different units of the different sizes here. This is an awkward number to work with. 642.84 liters is is much easier. I just have to know the difference between the liter and the milliliter. Okay? 57,420 centimeters. 2 kilometers. Okay. Centimeters to kilometers. If I look at my scale here, centimeters to kilometers, that's 1 2 3 4 5 steps in that path here. And because I'm going from a small unit to a large unit, the number's got to get smaller. I'm going to divide by, whoops, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, let's make sure I got that right here. I'm going to divide by 100,000. So 57,420 centimeters, I'm going to divide that by 100,000. If the decimal's not shown, remember it, it, it's actually right here at the behind that number here. And when I divide by a thousand, that's moving it to the left. So that's one, two, three, four, five. So the decimal is going to end up in front of the five. And I usually put a, a zero to just be a placeholder, just to show that the or highlight the presence of the decimal there. So five, seven, four, two, zero kilometers. Okay, down here, 2.498 kilograms to milligrams. Okay, so here, kilogram to a milligram. Ooh, this is a big one. From here to here is going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay, it's going to be basically a million. We're going to either multiply or divide by a million. Now, because we're going from large unit to small unit, the number must get bigger. So we're actually going to multiply by a million. So we start with 2.498 kilograms. We're going to multiply by a million. And that means we're going to move the decimal place 1, 2, 3, so it covers the 498, and then 4, 5, 6, with three more places behind that that I can't see. So 2, Four nine eight two three zeros here uh, milligrams. Now, just just to be clear, just to be clear, as we're going through this, uh, my notation isn't particularly good here. I'll be honest with you right off the bat here. 
Um, the way units go here, normally you would be you'd be canceling canceling units and and whatnot. You'd be using kind of a proportional analysis for this. And so I know there's going to be some people that'll look at this and say, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. You're dividing by a thousand. You're multiplying by a thousand and and whatnot here. Um, and I understand that there are some issues with with the notation and and the way uh, we're using the units here. For right now, really what we're trying to emphasize is is basically just to get used to this idea of, of how the decimal moves, okay? Um, in a little bit here, we will focus a little bit more on on the proportional reasoning that goes with the conversion and making sure that the, the units cancel properly.